I, I talked about it, and uh, the moment is here to some degree. And Spencer Raxner and I are going to butt heads on this. I'm curious to see where DMAC and BMG, and, and more, more importantly, I'm curious to see where, where the people are with this. You guys know that I'm a big spot track guy. And for me, you know, it's, I, I live in the contracts. I like the money because the money is usually the indicator of what's going to happen. If you want a rough idea of how things are going to go, take a look at the Follow money. Follow the dollars. Follow the dollars. I mean, in life, in politics, in our world, uh, everywhere. Everywhere you go, money dictates what happens. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying it is, it is what Absolutely. is. So there, they had their... They did a podcast about what what's your golf situation right now? You know, they did golf, cousins, Josh Dobbs. And obviously, you know, I, I lock into the golf thing. And and they have an article up at, at spottrack.com that you can that you can check out and read for yourself. And and to be honest with you guys, I would love to do stuff like that. But I think if it's not your team, then people here don't care. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, like, we, I don't think that we could, like, do a show on that. Right. I would love sure. to, but I don't think we could do a show. I don't think it would be supported. That would be a caveat. But, but we can talk about Jared Goff, Absolutely. and people are going to be locked into that. I think it's also, too, if you wanted to, as a comparable to, for Spot Track, what they say about a Kirk Cousins or guys that are comparable to, I think that that's why it's good to bring it up, not to bring right. them down, but to say in contrast, so it gives sort of a, a, a reference point, right? Yes. Um, I'm Salty says, pay off and get rid of the O-line. Clown. No, no, guys, you got to listen. I need you to listen for a couple seconds here. Okay? And... Here's here's what the story is. For Jared Goff, what what they what they called for at Spot Track was roughly a five year, two hundred ten million dollar deal, which is around forty four ish, forty four ish per year on the annual value. Um, we'll use that as a as a <laughs> we'll use that as a base. Okay, so D Max in. All right, D Max in. I get it. Uh, there, the, the, you know where I stand, but I have different reasons, and I like to hear what you guys yeah. say. I'm sorry to get involved, but just just to get but, just to give you the, the the total evaluation of what you're looking at, they they would say four years of that 170 will be guaranteed, like locked in. That would be it. Now for in a different avenue, next year golf is on the books. I want I want to get it exactly right for 31.6 million dollars, which is under 13 percent of the salary cap for next season. Another avenue is you let him play out, and that's not guaranteed, by the way, too. So keep that in mind. Another avenue that you could do is you could let him play next year, and then you could tag him two consecutive years. You could do that. Getting him 38-ish, and then the following year, maybe 42, 43-ish. You see what I'm saying there? So in the same ballpark, but not guaranteed. So I guess my question to you and DMAC, you already gave your answer. Big Mike Gentry, five at 210, four at 180 guaranteed. I would take either of them, honestly. I, I'm a big golf guy, and I think you're seeing how the offense is blooming with him, and I think it's only going to get better with years. And at that price and at other quarterbacks' prices around the league, I wouldn't mind it at all. So, again, we're looking at roughly that 45-ish AAV, which is what it would cost you. To give Pay you context, man, money. to give you context, I said next year Jared Goff's at just under thirty-two million dollars. He's eleventh in the league at the quarterback spot. Keep in mind, next year cap hits: Deshaun Watson, sixty-four million dollars; Dak Prescott, just under sixty million; Patrick Mahomes, fifty-seven million; Kyler Murray, fifty-two million; Matt Stafford, fifty million; Daniel Jones, forty-seven million. You see where I'm going here with this? Mm -hmm. I, I, I already, because of you and and knowing what, like exactly what Mikey said, lock it in. My my reasons are different, but I think the real conversation is between you right here between you Spencer and Spencer Raxter. I go to you. Yeah. Five God, at two God ten. Truther. Not a chance. No, I'm just kidding. Um. Yeah, I, I don't mind. That. Really? I don't mind that. It's the forty two million, or like forty forty five forty. Five to forty-five, whatever yeah. it is, yeah. It's, but I, I don't think you think he'll take less than Daniel Jones. I, I, that's what they pegged the the market at. Yeah. 
That's what they pegged the market. I prefer yeah, I like the well, the franchise tag route, like you said, where you sign him or let him play next year, then tag him and tag him. But yeah, I, I do think that that's where they're going to go. I think they're going to re-sign him because of what he does. They're leaning towards it, and if you could get him for like you said, five for two ten, I don't mind it. Really? Yeah. I thought you were going to say no for sure. No, no. Yeah. no I think it, I, I, well, I, gotta, I just want to ask Benny this real quick. I think we listen to you, Neil, because we know what the Daniel Jones and we know what the alternative is. If you sort of put it off, it's going to cost you more to like eventually the, to the range. We don't want to get to 50. I don't want to pay him 50 million. 45 with what he's done, with what he's earned. My big thing is culture too, right? Because if you, you, he's got the whole room, right? The, like he's their guy. So that that's so I'm I'm like let's give this man his money let's get it out of the way then we don't have to worry about it then we can and I'm sure if you guarantee it you can structure it in a way that you can pay all these younger guys or set yourself up I I believe that this is the mindset and the plan yeah if you could front load it um well here here's the deal though too because Cat says there's zero chance golf will take 44 million a year now let me give you the path and the why on this. Because who has the leverage? The Lions have the leverage. A, where else is he going to go? I mean, there's going to be a lot of openings for him to go. But who? But who's going to pay him in that stratosphere? You know what I'm saying? He's going to get comparable money. Who? Who? Who's going to go above that? You see what I'm saying? Can I ask a question? Yes. Who is? Is this like a similar situation that maybe we watched with a? Is this a Jimmy Garoppolo or a Derek Carr or a? Uh, I'm trying to think of. Have we seen sort of that situation play out in the past few years with quarterbacks moving other other teams like contracts? You know what I'm saying? Like like is Goff in that situation? Because I think that to your point too. Doesn't like they could franchise him, could franchise him. He's not up for a couple of years. Like they have his control, don't yes, they? Yes, and, that's, so that's, and they have so, the leverage. So they have the leverage in that. So here's here's the equalizer, the guaranteed money, right? Is forty five Jared Goff guaranteed over whatever forty four million? You know why he takes it? Because he's happy. Because he likes what it is. Because you know what, forty four million and fifty million a year is the same thing. Right, because 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 it's a situation. Now, now we got to qualify. It. You're a bad person to ask. I'm a bad person to ask that, but the, uh, it, because you know what? Because everything's in place as far as the culture, the team, everybody. You know, yeah, you would take take that. He's also what else has he? He's also made money. The same as first big contract. Yeah. He's, he's made. Got he's money made almost in the two. Bank. Yeah. So he can option in to do it. Are we going to call it the Tom Brady? Right? Yes. He can do it the Brady way. And I'm not here to count another man's money. No, I, I'm, I'm not the either, opposite but he's of that. got the option. He right? does. The option is there. So there's other things in place. So when you say that he would never would, like you got to understand guys are different motivated. When, when and, this deal's I, up, he'll have made $166 million in his career. So but I don't know. I, I got to think that there's so many other things at play. Um, you know? No, see, see, Kat says... That's not how contracts work. Yeah. Fifty million is the market. No, because I just gave it to you. See, cat spot. Here's where the Lions have the leverage, dude. Because as I said, they got him next year in the low thirties. So that's and then they and yes, they do. Cat spot have back to back franchise tags that are available to use on them. And the second they sign it, it's guaranteed and it counts against the cap. Yes, it does. But they have the cap space to do that, dude. So this is. It, let me ask you this, Benny, for for the people. Okay, you're Spencer Goff. All right? I, and you know this, you're 29. Yeah. You know that I have, I have drafted Hendon Hooker. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying, you know, because I had this big thing lined up and you just took all the air out of the balloon, man. I'm <laughs> mad at you. But I'm proud of you too. You're Spencer Goff. Yes. Okay? Your contract is up after next year. You know that I have the avenues, just for round math's sake. I can essentially have you for three years for a hundred-ish million dollars. 110-ish, okay? Yeah. Or I'm offering you, instead of that, right now, four at 170 guaranteed, five at 210 in total. Those are your choices. Yeah. Which and one you take? And you've already made 100... And, and you've made 160 million already. Yeah, I'd sign the, the contract. Because nobody likes to play on a franchise tag, and obviously you can hold out in that situation if he doesn't want to play on the franchise tag, but I don't see him doing that. 
I do see other suitors. I do see people that would go out there and pay him like what he the market. That's what like like this is nice and good. I just don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna sign for under what Daniel Jones makes. But I, but I just I gave you what the reality of his situation is though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I disagree. I think everything he wants is here. So it's like get it done. When when you're looking at it like, oh, we got this and you got this, let's just get it well, done. Well here's D Mac, next. here's here's the kicker in this in this argument though, uh, Spenny. When we do this, when we do this, when you're a true free agent, you're thirty three then. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so like the, the fifty million a year crowd right now that's that's pounding the table like cat spot saying, No, the market's fifty. No, the market isn't fifty because I have the control if I'm the Lions. If if we want to just drag it out, you're getting one ten, one fifteen for three years, and that's it. And it's not guaranteed. It's year by year. So you so you're telling me if you don't take this deal that you're gonna play next year on a lame duck deal that's not guaranteed. To get to a franchise tag that's only guaranteed one year, this this is like a no-brainer to me. Why would I? Eric Lynn says it. Why would I leave the perfect situation? And I haven't even I'm got like, into that yet. Right, like, like it's his perfect. It's it's Eden for him, right? It's it's built around him. Plus, he's earned the trust of everybody in there. Like this is their guy. If you don't understand, this is what Stafford was supposed to be. Now they build the team around him. It also gives. I mean, isn't that enough money? And I know not what you're saying, but in this situation, right? You never, we're not talking about keeping a guy. You're talk, this isn't an Indomitian Seuss conversation or guys that could hit the market or talk about hitting the market. It's also too, am I right or am I wrong that he could sign this deal and be a free agent at 33? He's not even done yet the way quarterbacks go. This could not be his last contract or his biggest contract. Right, I think he signs. I think this is a tweener. He signs a four-year at this because that is the acceptable contract, you know, for everybody. It's guaranteed. And then he goes out and wins the Super Bowl. He doesn't. If he wins the Super Bowl, then maybe his next contract that he's going to make fifty-five or sixty is somewhere else. Right, Neil? No. Oh, yeah. Does that not work that way? I mean, the fact that he's thirty-three and be free. I mean, I don't understand the fact. To me. He's made over a hundred million already. That means he's already set. So if it's, is there another perfect situation out there? No, because he knows the alternative from playing with the Rams and getting bailed out on McVay and them, being the scapegoat. But thank goodness when Brad Holmes came, Brad Holmes knew he's the best guy for these guys. And at that price, it just helps everything out. Where does it sit when I ask you? As, as the books, mm -hmm. right? If Goff signed this contract and was a $45 million, does that not put them ahead as far as because they're where their quarterback's at and signing all the rest of their guys or guys they wanted to sign? Yes, DMAC, and here's why. Because <laughs> as Goff sits this year, this year he's about 18%-ish of the cap, percentage of the cap. Next year that number drops because the, the, the number that he makes goes down a little bit to around 13%. If I get him at that 45 range, that puts him back up to 18 to 19% of the cap. And that's about the line of of where most people it's are. It's like stock exchange, right? Like, right. like that's acceptable, right? That's an acceptable return? Yes. That's oh, hey, yeah, that's a steal. Okay. That, based okay. on his production, I mean, is he, is he a top oh, five oh, quarterback? Oh, 100%. Is he, is he top five QBR what quarterback? The yes. line is. Yeah. The, re the return on investment, the return on investment is incredible. Right. And that's been my point with Jared Goff since the day I stepped on this this set 100%. here at this network. Yep. Like you, people need to stop thinking about it in terms of your fantasy league, and start thinking about in terms of of where you are. And guys, like the cap space thing isn't a thing. In 2025, the Lions have 215 million dollars in cap space. You know what I'm saying? Like here's here's the deal. Yeah, well, they gotta get all how many guys done. legitimately? How many guys legitimately, Neil? Like when like you can. Like legitimately, and I'm not putting a gun to your head to, to answer this, but how many of your guys to re-sign can you re-sign with all that money, being even at the positions? I'm talking like off the top of your head with Penny Sewell and uh, yeah, you'd have to um, that's, Ra, you got to get Amon and, uh, Ron Sewell and, uh, done with like, that. You got what about seven, and eight God. guys to fit in in that in money yeah. bracket and both your guards. 
Which is yeah, no, you got about eight, eight guys, guys right? Free agents this yeah. year. Yeah, but you have Sorsdal on a rookie deal still at the same time, so yeah. you got to make that decision. You see what I'm saying? Like, here's here's the deal, and I and I know we've blown way past this. Like, when everybody sees the Bears go get Montez Sweat and give up draft capital to get him, and then give him a hundred million dollars. You see what I'm saying? The Lions don't have any of that shit on the books like a lot of these other teams do. And like the 49ers and the Eagles right now, they're all in. Like this is the window. This is it. Like they, they, they have shoved all their chips into the middle of the table. And you know how this is going to end, right? It's going to end like it's going to end. It's ending for the Rams right now. Like you, that's the way, that's the nature of the beast. Under my system here with what they're doing, I, I can see what the writing on the wall is with what Brad Holmes is going to do. Continue to acquire rookies that can play and then the machine never stops the window never closes the lions aren't on like a three-year window plan like everyone that just wanted to just take all the chips and put them in the middle of the table this year and you know use it use a ton of your space when you know what you're going up against here with the guys you have to sign you you can tell that he knows this and to your point if he locks his quarterback in at this deal that's cap friendly to everything he everybody wants to build wins. around it. Everybody wins. Goff gets his money guaranteed. And I, he doesn't have to go year to year. Am I, I know I'm the culture holic, right? But am I seeing it wrong? But is that not what I'm watching being built down now? Yes. Now? And that's the overriding message with all this. This so, isn't a window so, the Lions so are building for towards. Does that not it's a little bit the why? Not the right, not the wrong about not acquiring guys and making those commitments to whatever else and I know I know it's frustrating and I know that it is but it's just you know what we they drove by that ice cream stand man I know mm -hmm. that 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 it looked it looked tasty and you might have been able to stop but and it's frustrating it's frustrating to watch but at the end of the day when they win you got to accept See, that there was the like right Kat, way. Cat says Goff has more leverage. He does not. The Lions can keep him for three years, and he would walk. He would walk as a 32-year-old quarterback at that point. You see what I'm saying here? Like it's it's real. The Lions have the leverage in this situation. I'm sorry I went long, but again, it's it's valid. Like I, the Lions do not have a window. The Lions have a franchise cooking right now. No, just extend the window if they can get that. Like. It adds to the game plan. It makes it longer. And right? then Instead in that of meantime, three, then you got five. Yes. And then in that meantime, you get to see what you have with Hooker and all that kind of you know, you do. And then I won't be as critical of the Hooker pick at that point.